I was born in uh, Russia, Moscow. Me as a kid, I was always outside, getting lost, going to places. My mom was always looking for me. My dad moved here, and then he brought us all here. Mainly it was uh, soccer too. I played for Spartak Moscow. I moved here. I went to San Diego soccer, and when the team fell apart, I was watching Dream and Pride, those fights, and I was watching the soccer kicks, and I was like, go ahead, let me just go try jujitsu. At first, I was just trying to test the water, see what it is. Still working full-time job till my fifth professional fight, and then that's when I took shit serious. I try to do it twice a week, because it's a hard run. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for about eight, eight and a half years. Uh, I try to eat clean even if I'm not fighting. But my portions are bigger, of course, when I'm not fighting. And uh, when I get close to a fight, uh, I juice a lot. Uh, you know, I eat a lot of spinach and kale, you can see here. I brew my own kombucha, so I drink that every day. My body is my machine. If I don't feed it right things, then I'm not gonna perform well or I'm not gonna train right. So I, I really spend a lot of money on food. <laughs> I bought the house in Cedar Pines Park. It's a nice, quiet area, high elevation, 5,200. Living up there with the family is great. My daughter likes it up there. She's funny. Uh, she uh, always shadow box. I don't know why she'd want to shadow box today. Go, shh, shh, shh. Go, go. I, I get to spend a lot of time with her and I feel like kids when they grow up it's very important to spend time with her so they, they have that connection. Just one, yeah. Hopefully more soon. <laughs> a lot of fights with Santa oh, as soon as you have a kid. It's a different story, you're gonna change, you're not gonna train as much, but that's I think that's bullshit. <laughs> I think if you uh, if you really want to train, there's nothing going to stop you. I mean, if the baby really going to stop you and change your career, that's stupid. I think you shouldn't fight. But I think on the other hand, she just gave me a lot of motivation. You know, I think when I first started at Bellator, when I was a little kid. I mean, some of my uh, stuff I was doing in the cage, it was just pure hard. My legit last was Patricio. Like, if you're gonna beat me, I feel like you have to knock me out or submit me. So I could feel like I lost. Patricio finished me, which was perfect. That's why I'm, you know, like, that's why I'm right now where I am. When you win, it's just like, it passes by so fast you forget about the fight. But when you lose, you just go back and you sit down and you just try to go over to everything. When you lose, you learn a lot. That's why I'm so hungry right now. Going into Bellator right now, I'm just focused on Baba. I think it's a good fight. I know he's a great wrestler. I know he's a national champion, division one. But when you look at his sport, you know, this is mixed martial arts. And I have fought a lot of good wrestlers. So just make sure I have my wrestling conditioning and then just do my thing. And my thing is just I like to stand and I like to knock people out. If he wants to make a wrestling match, we're going to wrestle. But uh, if he was willing to stand with me, then we're going to stand. I wouldn't mind whooping his ass for three rounds. The three round ass whooping was better than a finish sometimes, so whoever wins fights for a belt, but I try not to think about that too much. I just focus on bubblegum. 
the end of the day is a business. This is how I make a living. So uh, if he respects me, I'm gonna respect him. If he acts a dick towards me, then it's.